so let's start the back end work so in this video and the next coming video we will focus on a full rest api endpoint creation let's have a look first one will be the rest api endpoint creation for this image uploading i mean to upload a cover image we have to create a endpoint so first rest api endpoint will handle this image part so we will create a rest api endpoint for this and second rest api endpoint for this home page so after a user will upload a blog i mean suppose we have a 10 user in our blog app and uh, one user is me and nine other user is available so nine other user will upload their blog then we have to show that blog over here in the home page so the second endpoint will fetch the data of the other user so i will fetch the uh, data of the other nine user just except me so that is a second endpoint creation that will be responsible for the getting a data for the home page and there is a third endpoint which is a own data suppose right now i am uploading in blog and i want to show that blog i mean how many blog i uploaded and i want to see that blog in this app then we will show that blog over here in the profile screen just below this horizontal line so that is a third endpoint first one is responsible for uploading the cover image second one responsible for getting the other user data in a home page and third one is responsible for getting the own data in this profile page and the fourth rest api endpoint is responsible for getting i mean deleting the user data like suppose i created a ad block and after uploading this blog at some point of time i need to delete this blog so the fourth rest api endpoint will be responsible for deleting the blog i mean the single blog for image rest api endpoint creation we know that we already created the same thing for the uploading the profile image so here for the uploading a profile image we use the multer so i will not do the same thing i mean what is a multer and how to create this code i will not explain here you can find the link of the profile image endpoint creation in the description so please watch that video if you need the refresh so let's just do the copy pasting in this video and create the first rest api endpoint for the image upload of the cover image i will copy the multer and i will paste over here and for the multer we need to create a instance of the multer so here is the instance of the multer i will use the same thing over here okay this is the instance of multer and we don't need this thing the filter thing we already commented out and we need the storage parameter and we need to create a storage parameter and we already have the code over here i will just do the copy and pasting and i will use over here so if you want to refresh the thing you can find the link where i uh, where i explained all the thing so please watch that video first and the destination of the image will be the same the uploads folder over here and we need to create a endpoint for it so how we will create the endpoint you know that to create endpoint we are using the router in the router we will use the route and we will specify the route what will be the uh, route add slash cover image okay that will be the endpoint and we need to pass the id of the blog so why i am passing this id just refresh the last video of the endpoint creation where we pass the this two thing the title name and body and after it we get this thing as a response where we have the id parameter so we will use this id parameter to name the image like in the profile what we did that we used the username 
of the user for the naming convention of the profile image but for the block case a single user can upload a multiple block and each block will have a unique id and that's why we have to use that unique id to distinguish with the each of the block cover image so that's why we are passing over here the id also so with help of this id we will assign over here the name of the image and how we will get the id using the request dot params dot id as we are doing the same thing okay it's params as we did the same thing for the profile i think or maybe okay we are not doing the same thing because we are getting a username using the this middleware dot check token so we can get the username using the request dot decoded dot username so you know the fundamental that we need to distinguish the each of the cover image of the respective blocks that why that's why we need the id first so the the cover image should be the id of the blog with the dot jpg format so here in the last video of the rest api creation we created a ad of the blog post so here what we will do that when someone click this add block first we will call this rest api endpoint then after sending the data i mean the title in the body we will get back this kind of response and in the response we will get back the id also then what we will do is we will call this second rest api endpoint for the uploading the image with the id we will get from the response so the cover image one i mean this endpoint will be called after the first api after sending the title in a body so we can easily get this cover image while fetching the data in the home page because each block have a unique id and that's why the cover image have a unique id dot jpg format so we will get the uh, unique i mean the cover image of the respective block easily same thing we will do on a profile page also for the fetching the own data so you know that that's why i'm using this id parameter over here to name the image and we can get the easily the image while fetching it so let's create the patch http request for it and we will use the request and response and let's do the same thing we did on a profile page so here we have the add image endpoint first we added the middleware dot check token to verifying a user that it's authenticated or not if it's, it's authenticated then what we will do that we will call the upload dot single image so we will find the image using this img parameter as we did on a profile image one also and then we will perform this thing the same thing we did over here and here let's create a logic for this image endpoint so the basically the logic will be the blog post over here we use the profile and here we will use this blog post model and in the blog post model we will use the find one and update and here we will find the id so the id we will get from the request dot params dot id and after finding our data we have to perform something like we did on profile.js we need to set the thing so let's copy this thing one by one so we will set the 
image over here but for our case what is the image parameter it's a cover image we need to upload I mean update the cover image parameter so that's why I will use the cover image here and we will get the request.file.path using this thing so now we need to perform this new as a true okay and I'm just doing the copy and pasting because I don't want to write the same thing not here after this parameter okay so here then we have to implement some logic that error image added successfully let's do it by own so we will get the error and result here we need to perform the logic like if there is error then return response to json error otherwise return the response to json the result okay now it's good it does save let me test this endpoint right now in uploads we have only david stack 06 or jpg now let's test on a uh, postman for the new endpoint so the endpoint will be not add it will be add and it will be uh, cover okay, just wait a minute add slash cover image okay and the id so right now we can use the id anything just random just one two three four five and what we have to do that we need to use the patch method over here because we are using the patch method over here because we are just updating the cover image parameter which will be created during this slash add post and now what we have to do is we need to go on a header in the header set the authorization and set the bearer and your token which is active token not is invalid token and in the body we have to select the form data because we need to send the file type of data and the key will be img as we are using over here the img and we did the same thing on a create profile endpoint and we have to select a file and the file will be a banner and we will see that what kind of file we will get on a plus folder and now what we have to do we just have to save it because I'm just doing the REST API endpoint documentation also for you that what kind of REST API, in, REST API endpoint is created till now and how to create a REST API endpoint you can find the video on the description and now let me send it and after sending it I'm getting this kind of response so let's not bother about the response let me go on a uploads folder inside the uploads folder now we are able to see that there is another image came one two three four five if I will open then I will see the new image which is a banner image for me and that was my profile image now we tested this rest api endpoint and we can integrate this rest api endpoint over here in a blog post so the both of the endpoint for the adding a blog data and adding a image i mean the cover image is now created let's create another endpoint and we will wrap the video and rest of the two endpoint we will create on the next video so the next endpoint will be the router dot route get own block and here I will solve the most common issue you are facing so let me first create the endpoint the endpoint will be gate and 
as we know to authorize a user we will use this middleware dot check token and we need to use the request and response and this endpoint will be responsible for fetching the own blocks so we will use the block post model i mean the instance of the model which we imported over here and here we will use the find find which mean find all the data not find one which will find a single instance here we have to find the all the data which i posted and how we will find my own blocks to find my own block i will use the username parameter and we will get the username from request or decoded dot username okay and here we will return a function that error and result so that's why in a blog post dot model i added this username to fetch my own block based on the username and here if we will get any error simply we will return response dot json error you can return anything or else we will return response dot json data and the result which we are getting after this query and i will hit the save and let's test this get own block endpoint on the postman so here let me add a new request get own data so in a get own data i need to provide the http colon localhost key just use this url and here we will use the blog post endpoint instead of add we will use our own endpoint okay i'm just getting a result as a copy let me go there let me copy it the endpoint name and there i will just making a mistake that i had to add this class also and let me go here and paste this let me click a send so what will happen let's see i'm just getting the error that type error cannot read property most of you are getting the same error and you are posting a comment that i'm getting this error of undefined and i'm just keep saying please add a header because without adding a header you will get a this kind of error and i will just copy and pasting the token which i get okay so please add the token with the bearer in try to send it again without a uh, passing a token you will get the same kind of error again and again here you can see that we are able to fetch the my own blog uh, because i tested the add block api three times that's why we are getting a three block data and uh, the purpose of this video is now completed and i just wanted to let you know that this video is recorded at uh, three different times that's why the background noises is three different so sorry for that in the next video we will work on a list of the two endpoint for fetching the other user blog and for deleting the blog thanks and happy coding and see you on next video